So, oh, sorry, like we have some like uh, technical like uh, failure earlier. So like uh, it take like a little bit longer, like until like uh, we start like today's lesson. All right. So, so today like uh, we are going to like do like uh, the exercise on like page fifty three uh, to page fifty seven. It is the writing on unit seven. Ah, uh, unit six. Sorry, my fault. Okay. So. Coca. So like uh, let's just like read it together. Like uh, we trying to like figure out like uh, what's like uh, what's our today's task. Let's just open like the book, your book, page fifty three, fifty three. All right. So together, let's just read this like uh, the task together. You are the editor of the Fashion Club newsletter. You want to write a feature article about what to wear to the school picnic next month. Write the featured article by following step one to three. Write about hundred and fifty words. So, first thing that like uh, before. Okay. Uh. Okay. Like the old saying goes, like uh, in Chinese, so uh, like uh, if you want to do anything first, like uh, you have to like sharpen your tools. So the first thing you need to know, like uh, what are you gonna do? So we. You know, like uh, first thing, like who are we? Like uh, in this like writing piece, we are uh, the editor of the Fashion Club's newsletter. Okay, we figure this part. And now, of course, like uh, you guys always want to know, like uh, how many words am I supposed to write? And then uh, here you go, hundred and fifty. And then, like uh, lastly, like uh, we should know, like uh, okay. So what is this all about? Like, uh, what is this kind of like article like? It is a feature article, and uh, about your school picnic next month. Okay, <clears throat> I'll give you like some like a. Uh, uh, since like you guys are in the like, second year of the secondary school, just think of like a, a school picnic that like uh, you've been before. Where have you been in your like uh, last school picnic? Like uh, your school picnic in autumn. Like uh, where do you go? I'll just like uh, give you a few moments like to think about it, like in uh, and just like think of an interesting like uh, memory about your uh, your school picnic. Maybe okay, like uh, I'll think about like uh, when I was like uh, secondary school. I think I went to Stanley like uh, with my classmate, and then like uh, what did I do? I felt like. Uh, I would just like uh, went hiking and went to the beach and something like that and then like hang out there like uh, with my classmate for an entire afternoon and that's something I do. All right, so and now we should like uh, get on to like work on this one, and we try to understand whenever like uh, we write an article. I think like uh, most of us are quite familiar right now, and we need to like figure out this thing like the PAT purpose. <clears throat> audience and tone, and then like a purpose, like a uh, you're writing like mukti, audience, like a dokte, my yu hei tone. So these are the three like a uh, major feature that like a uh, important feature that help you to try to figure out like uh, how you're supposed to write in this article. All right, first one. So let's just figure out the P first, the purpose. So let's just read together like. <clears throat> What is the purpose of the feature article? Underline the best answer. Let's look at this one. So, to give reader warning, advice, or jokes on what to wear to a school picnic. Well, we let's just recall like a moment. So, this is we are writing for a school newsletter. If you read a school newsletter, you normally find that like they writing in a more like uh, what kind of like a uh, way do they write? Do you think that like uh no, let's just like cross out like uh, the unwanted one. Do you think that like you write jokes? Say like, like uh, what you're supposed to wear for a school picnic? Say that like uh if I went on a hiking for like a school picnic I might joke about like okay, let's just like uh, wear flip flop like uh to hiking. What do you think? Well, if you think that like a school would like in a school newsletter write about like a joke, say that like oh wearing flip flop like uh, to a hiking, what would the parents think? Like um, if the student like eventually get hurt, unfortunately, like uh, will the parents complain about it? Well, yes, likely. So that's why like uh, we can really figure out like jokes is like definitely not one of them. So what about these the other two? 
Warning or advice? Well, do you think that like uh, we'll warn about okay? Uh, the hiking would be like uh, very difficult, like and, and so like you should like uh, you should not wear something that <clears throat> you should not wear like a uh, like a flip flop. Like, do you think that like that would be a warning? Well, I think that like uh, you guys don't want warning ahead, like uh, because it's something that hasn't happened. Maybe like it's like uh, you're supposed to give them like advice. Because the advice is like you can just like give advice to people like what are you supposed to wear, how you should prepare like uh, for the hiking trip, and that's like something that like uh, you want to give advice, not just like straight ahead warning. Say that like if I give you like a warning about like what you should not wear, what do you think? You probably feel that like a uh, Mr. Wong is quite nosy and then like uh, he's like quite troublesome, like uh, he like to bring on different like um. You know, or comment too much like uh, on your like uh, out <clears throat> on your outwear. So maybe like you want to give like understand like it's advice. I just give you advice, and you should like maybe like you think about like whether you should follow it like uh, and that's more like acceptable by you, right? Okay, next one, and then, like to explain the causes, reason, or result why some clothes are suitable. What do you think? Well, since I like it's an advice. And theref therefore, it should be like uh, explain like the reason like behind it. Like okay, why like uh, this advice is like a uh, what's up with my reasoning? Like or dim lam dim guy or ah, in guy la like you have just like you have just hiking boots. Come la hiking boots. Why like this guy you have just come la you need reasons. So you have to explain like the reason why some clothes are suitable. So make sure that like uh, when you write this main uh, this piece of article. And other than just advice, you just like say that like oh you should wear boots, and then like then you'd also talk about like what's the reasoning behind like, dim guy hai, so it's like dim guy hai hai sa hai, why why is like hiking boot like not something else like you have to explain like uh, your reasoning. All right, and then like next one, who is gonna read your feature article? Circle the answer. Okay, like uh, this we we'll just record like uh, what is this article like uh. Like would appear in? Is it gonna appear like a uh, on a on a regular newspaper? Do you think that you find your article on Mango Daily? Well, if you just read it about, it's like a school, like a newsletter. So do you think that like uh, singers or models would read your like a uh, feature article? Well, if you like talking about like a singer or like art, like models like in your school, maybe. But no, like a. Uh, these are not like, unlikely the answer. What about like this one? Like people who are going to a school picnic. Well, it's a school picnic and it's gonna feature in a school article. Maybe this one. How about just look at the last one? Your family. Do you think your family will read about it? Well, maybe. But like uh, this one is like uh, apparently the middle one. Like how about who going to like going to a school picnic? It is the most suitable answer because it's a like, school picnic and about like your magazine. Uh, so, sorry, um, school newspaper, uh, newsletter. So like, uh, and now you should recall when you ever write it. Like, you need to know like who are you writing to? Like whom? Like, uh, like who's gonna like read your article? Like, uh, if it's not your family, like uh, you have to have to like say that like oh like oh our son will be safe, our daughter will be safe in this trip because you're writing to some people who are going to a school picnic. So okay. <clears throat> Lastly, on the part like uh, the tea part. What tone should you use? Like a uh, take the like a uh, appropriate box. So whenever like uh, we look at this thing, like a uh, the tone, we can always like uh, deduce that like a uh, there's a line draw here. So the line he draw. So is it supposed to be so because like casual and formal, they are like they are like two opposites. So that's why like these two, like uh, you should only like check one of the box. And polite and serious, and like although these two like does not reflect its uh, nature of the tone, but like you can kind of tell it's gonna like check like one of these two, but either one of these two box. But like uh, just minor like a tip for like uh, writing like these kind of to figure out the tone, cause like casual and formal like they always like go against each other, and that's why like you only choose one of them in any given cases. So, 就係咁，我個俾多個例子，呢個提示你哋將來。
casual 同 formal 呢兩個咧就係佢寫作嘅兩個嘅相反嘅意見，所以咧佢兩個永遠唔會係一齊剔曬嘅，除非係一個情況就係你可以自選嘅，所以呢個情況一定會係分開嘅啦。So think about it like the school news lab. Do you think that it's gonna be a casual one or is a formal one? What do you think? Well, maybe you have, uh you have not read the school news letter before, but like the thing is you. You hardly find anything like uh, published by the school. It is written in a casual tone. 我嘅解，我假設你可能咧就未讀睇過你哋嘅校刊啦，但係咧你會喺你嘅所有嘅學校出印刷嘅嘢啦，你好難會揾到佢哋係用 casual 呢個輕鬆嘅語調，永遠都係用 formal 係一個一個係一個官方嘅係啦，呢個一個比較。隆重少少嘅語氣嘅，咁咧 ，and then like you're trying to figure out like is it supposed to be polite or serious? Okay, this is like kind of like come back to the question that I talk about. Talk about like a、uh, about like a warning and advice right here. So that's why we kind of like okay, since it's an advice instead of warning, so maybe just like、uh, you should choose like polite instead of like serious. So here, that's why like、uh, here we try to figure out like is casual and polite, and audience we figure out like、uh, for like student or people like who are going to school picnic, and lastly we figure out the the purpose. Give the reader an advice, and explain its reason. So now we figure out the PAT. Okay, let's just like turn to next page and continue like the our our brainstorming part. So let's turn to like page fifty four. The next page, fifty-four. Okay. So now, like we talk about like the、uh, the text type, and now like、uh, we know like a、uh, like a、uh, we know the like a、uh, fe the text type of the feature article, and okay. And then now like、uh, look at this one, and then like、uh, we have like a、uh, six like a、uh, six word here. We supposed to like put it inside. All right. Let's just like read it together. The first one, closing. Opening, reader, headings, photos, title. All right. Now we have to like、uh, put them into these boxes, like、uh, all these boxes right here. Okay. First and foremost, like、uh, we, what do you think? Like which one is the easiest? The easiest one. Well, even if you don't know like any of these words and you kind of like have like difficult to understand it, maybe like the first one you come into mind would be this one, photos. Okay, look at it. Which one is photo? Well, that was like a pretty like a stand out to you. It would be this one. It's just like pointing at a、uh, necklace, and then like and now you see that like okay. And add photos to make your feature article more attractive. All right. And now, like we going on, like、uh, the second one. Okay. What about like a、uh, what about like title? When you talk about title, it's like、uh, you suppose like what is your title? Like what's the title of your article? What do you mean? What do you mean normally? It mean like like they. they Jot mark 嗰個嘅誒嗰個標題。So which one is the title? Beauty. Maybe like the one on top, the perfect party look. Okay. And now we will talk about like continue, and then like、uh, we talk about like、uh, the reader, right? Remember like we talk about the audience. Well, these two words are basically like interchangeable, and then like the.、Uh, And then like interchangeable, right? So say that like your audience basically is your like a reader. They are okay. And now we figured out like when you're reader, that means that like you are looking for a person or a pronoun. And in this case, we are looking for a pronoun. And then like this is it. Okay, I just gave it up to you. Okay. Now like we just look at it. Like、uh, are there any of these boxes like like they're looking for it? Like they give you a pronoun. Well, pronoun is dominance. So say that like, okay, I'm Mr. Wong, and sometimes I'll dress myself just I. Say that like, oh, 
I love football, so I don't say like Mr. Wong loves football. It's a first person. That's me. Like a person that work like you, like this is a pronoun, and then like he、yeah, has the you is your reader. You don't say that like oh hey people like uh a pe so say that like the last one like uh the people go to a school picnic or in this case the perfect party look. You don't say like oh. Hey, people are going to a party. Like, oh, people who look, wants to be perfect in a party. Like, you don't say that. You just like、uh, substitute it like、uh, your audience, like a supposed audience, into the word you. Like,、uh, I think this one is pretty easy. Okay, now like、uh, we figured out how long like、uh, over heading. Heading mean like、uh, you. Uh, it means that like、uh, not just like、uh, you have the title here and then you have the heading. Like heading for like.、Uh, Each like a、uh, these like a、uh, paragraph like a、uh, uh, within like the content, and then like a、uh, you figure out like a、uh, these would be like the heading, and then like they help help you to highlight the subject of each paragraph. Say that like even if I say say that like, I'm too too busy, I don't want to read the entire article, or I'm just looking for like specific thing to look at in your article or something like really stood out, and then like、uh, you put the heading right here. And then like uh and make sure that like you're heading like uh here and have your reader your reader trying to like it <clears throat> your reader have like a、uh, easier to have your oh like an entire article talk about like be creative and your re readers will be like okay oh then like I would I would know oh what I'm gonna expect like oh you be you do heading pin man tie okay man so. Like these like kind of like a、uh, headings would help your reader to try to understand what are you trying to say like in your like content in this paragraph, and then like、uh, the last two would be like a、uh, opening and closing, and then like、uh, I don't think that like、uh, you think this is an opening, so you know it's the back. It definitely gonna be the closing. It will like、uh, help your readers like.、Uh, You know, remind your readers the main idea of a feature article, and of course, heading like that means like basically like the first paragraph of your feature article. Okay, that doesn't have to like come with a heading. If you want, you can just say like introduction. Basically, it's like introduction of what are your、uh, feature article is about. Opening, give you some nigga, I will talk that. Be fancy, get introduction, that one thing. You just be go like talking, tell your readers, you know. 你篇文章會係講啲乜嘢？所以你一定要一個有重要嘅，將佢咧，人哋一睇第一句、第一段就知道你篇文係講咩嘅。因為 title 有陣時可能係 mislead、misleading。你有陣時望住個 title， 你個 perfect party look， 哦 ，perfect party look 係點嘅咧？誒、呃，你可能大家你大家有唔同嘅 perfect party look 嘅在心裏面，但係要去到呢度，要講到清清楚楚，你講呢篇文係講乜嘢嘅？ So like this one, you don't always have to wear new clothes to look good at a party. It's a good tip. I will put together a great look. And now you know like what this like article is about to help you to achieve like the perfect party look. All right. So I'll see. Any questions or so far? Questions? Okay. So okay, we like just quickly like、uh, look at this one, and then like a.、Uh, Okay, I'll show you. Okay, now let me figure out this page, and we go and turn like a、uh, next page, page fifty, uh, fifty-five. Okay, now we figure out like the step one, like figure out the PAT, like and then like I、uh, know some like、uh, features of, oh, sorry, no pun intended, like features of the feature article. Then the feature article, 里面应该有啲咩啦？诶，里面个 purpose, 目的 audience 同埋个 tone， 你哋都揾到啦。咁咧，我哋之後咧就做 step two。Okay， let's just move on like to step two。And like today， we're gonna learn about like some important like writing skill that is like how to write a topic sentence。So in a topic sentence， okay， let's just like read it together right here。A topic sentence is usually the first sentence of a paragraph that introduces the main point。好 ，topic sentence， 我用中文講一次 ，topic sentence 通常通常。就係、是、你哋嘅句，你哋嘅段落嘅第一句句子啦，去解釋個 main point 嘅。Okay， so like、uh, you can basically forget the word like、uh, usually here and substitute it with the word like always because 
you basically talk about like you only use it like a topic sentence. You only like write about like what your paragraph is going to talk about. What's the like most important thing about your paragraph? Well, well, well. Why do you think they say say usually? Because because in some of the cases you will not like uh, use the first sentence like uh, of a paragraph to introduce main point. Maybe you couldn't like think about like a example for like a you know English writing, but how about I think about your Chinese writing? Say that like uh, if the first sentence like first sentence of your paragraph, if it's not talking about like explaining your idea, what do you usually put in there? Well, it's of of course it's like a choice of your word, but like for me, sometimes like I'll put like some quote like some motto in it. Say that like uh, I'll just like give you a model like a Chinese proverb like uh, when I start my lesson right I said like okay if you want to do something well you sharpen your tools so it is a Chinese idiom like, I would say like oh that's an old saying in Chinese and then like and then like you say like oh if you want to do something work well like you sharpen your tool oh okay <clears throat> okay so like uh, 點解呢個係講 usually topic sentence 或者第一句咧？點解係 usually 咧？其實你可以當佢做 always 嘅，但係點解咧？你咩情況之下咧？你會諗到咧係唔係 usually 咧？我俾一個例子你去挑戰呢個嘢啫，就係、是、你前面咧就會寫啲片語出嚟嘅，就好似我頭先堂上原來第一句講啦，我就話公欲善其事，必先利其器，就係、是、中文咁樣嘅。你平時中文都諗到咧，你有陣時可以將呢啲嘢變成英文啦，然後將句擺喺你嘅。paragraph 第一句嘅 motto 係有幫助你去理解下成段啦，然後你先再寫你嘅 topic sentence。所以呢個 usually 就喺度。So if I explain it like in another way, basically if you're not trying to quote a motto or quote a proverb, make sure you put your set a、uh, topic sentence at the first sentence of your paragraph. If you can't like think of any motto, forget about it. Make sure that like first thing, topic sentence. Or percent, or paragraph, 明白？就係、是、咁。如果你除非諗到一個嘅言語啊，一個嘅格言咧，好適合去用作解釋你嘅段落咧。如果唔係，唔好諗咁多。你第一段落嘅第一句就寫呢個 topic sentence， 明白？好。然後我哋再講 ，OK， 老師。So we talk about like the、uh, the uh the next thing. Um, and then like、uh, what is it like a topic sentence? Okay. And then like read together. A good topic sentence has two parts: topic and a particular feature of the topic. For example, let's just read this one. Upcycling your clothes is a great way to make your old clothes look new again. Okay, anyone know like the word like upcycling? So you know like recycling. What about upcycling? Ups recycling. When you talk about recycling clothes, that means that like we just need some like to reuse it. But when we talk about like upcycling, we just need some uh uh to reuse it. That means 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 to reuse it. Okay. So let's just read it. Okay. So what is a topic? So like what is like uh what is an important thing? Like a uh what is like a uh something that like uh trying to like tell you about like this sentence. Upcycling your clothes is a Make way to make your old clothes look new again. Well, topic would be here because the topic, like you can just think of it as a, as the subject of your sentence. That means that like upcycling your clothes. This is a topic. And now we think of the second thing, the feature. So upcycling clothes, and then what? Like、uh, I can upcycle for clothes because um. Uh, it's a great way to save money. Like it could be like anything. Or okay, okay. Or say that like oh, uh, upcycling clothing, <coughs> upcycling clothes. It's a good way for like um,、uh, it's like a、uh, doing good、uh, for the earth. I could say something like that. But like you have to like pinpoint like、uh, your topic. Say that like what do you want to talk about when you talk about upcycling your clothes? So when I talk about like upcycling, I want to talk about like oh, it just like、uh, make your clothes old clothes look new again. This is like what I want to talk about. So even like if I throw out the topic like、uh, upside and curl, you have to like talk about some basic. What are those, what are some of like features like basic?、Uh, like, like what are you talking about like in this topic? And this is like an explain. Okay, we got a topic here, and then we talk about the feature. What do we want to talk about? 
and then like uh, now we look at it so how about like uh are we doing like a second thing before like um we'll come back to this one and then like a uh, before like uh this sentence later okay now we're just like i want you like to circle circle the verb in this in, i want to like you circle the word verb uh don't see in this sentence how many verbs can you find is what else And then like uh, do you find like a uh, some other like a new like a verb here? Okay, I just want you to remember. Okay, it will upcycle. It is not okay. Like just look at this one. Okay, now that we find like a like free verb here, remember the word like to, and like uh, it will just make the verb like doesn't count like for the overall, and same for the make and then like uh, make this one doesn't count. So that means that like a uh, the verb here is just like uh, here is. And this is the major verb of this sentence. Just like quickly remember this one, and then like uh, we'll come back to it. Okay. And of course, and then like we talk about topic sentence. Try to relate the topic sentence to the title of the article. When we talk about the title, when we think about the last like article, the title. Which one is the title? Just like go back to the previous page. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So that one will be like the perfect party look. That is a title, and then like uh, make sure you understand like the difference between a title and a heading. That's a title. Your topic sentence is have to be always related to the title. Say that like you talk about like this one. I'm cycling your uh, like the last one. That's like oh the perfect party look, and then like and you find out like say that like your topic sentence talk about like oh like uh, I think like uh, the best way to party is to like. Uh, have a house party like that doesn't make sense because like uh, although like it has a party but it does not stay like at uh, the party look and that's like uh, in another way to say it you have to stay focused stay on course of your writing you make sure that what you're gonna write and you know like uh, okay this is what I'm gonna do and then like instead of like just <clears throat> writing something else and went off track okay now we go on to the second part. We come back like a uh, to our uh, like a uh, uh, the brainstorming idea to the like a uh, feature article talk about the school picnic. And remember, we talk about like uh, what kind of clothes should we wear. Okay, now just like let's just read this one like a uh, real quick. So do's and don'ts. Well, actually, you can't find this word here in your like a diction on a dictionary, and you just but like a. Uh, People just like put it this way, cause like uh, it just like uh, do L N or not do. So like uh, it's just like another way to say it, like a uh, Joe don't Joe. Well, and then like right here, and then like uh, someone think then like you put a check mark here, that means something that you should do, and then like uh, it is that advice you to wear like long sleeves clothes, and then like I'll talk about like uh, we give like this is like a uh, what we come up with like uh, the PAT part. Well, this is like come back to the purpose parts. Talk about like a it is an advice. All right, and then like here reason, and then like uh, remember like uh, these are the advice. Some advice that like uh, what are you supposed like uh, to wear? And, uh, what are you supposed? Oh yeah. And then like here, and I always talk about like uh, the second part of the purpose part. They talk about like, the reason, explain why, why do we shouldn't you, why should you wear like long sleeve clothes, and then like uh, if you're gonna like an ex to avoid injuries, like uh, like there's like injuries like sau sang, just chan sau sang, bing bing sau sang. Okay, an example specific. Well, you don't have to. Okay. Sometimes like uh, you just like uh, write like uh, okay oh to avoid injuries or you can just say or like you put it in another way you can say like oh have like uh, you to broaden uh, to broaden your mind or like have you relax yourself like some of the most of you like writing like always come with like this line but like you have to give like example and be specific specific mean jun haiga tapike so. You can say like, oh, uh, I can wear like long sleeve. Avoid injuries. Like, what kind of injuries? Like injuries, like from. Say that like, uh, is it like injuries from, um, like injuries from like uh, scratches, like a uh, like a geyser. I mean, 
No, like uh, it is not because like uh, you can't like if you're some broad and general stuff, you have to give your audience some specific one. Specific means particularly fit into the good technique background. 這個原因是因為要切入了在這個作文題目裡面說他們在什麼學校裡面是因為他們在學校裡面是因為他們在學校裡面是因為他們在學校裡面是因為他們在學校裡面是因為他們在學校裡面是因為他們在學校裡面是
both and then like, I explain it right here like uh, oh okay to avoid mosquito bites And then lastly, like uh, you put a specific like a uh, example here, and then like a uh, uh, my temperature. Okay, and then like uh, you explain like uh, a specific example like why like a uh, how to as avoid like a uh, like bites and then like uh, oh because like a uh, mosquito they are afraid like uh, they stay away from light color and then like you can put it this way, and then. Okay, now we just like uh, go back to the topic sentence part because like these are some topic sentence, right? And we put it into like this situation and then like how we do it. So, can we just like uh, put these into like a form of these sentence? Well, remember like I uh, give you idea about like I give you like circle like a uh, the uh, verb here. That means that like remember like the major verb I asked you to circle this one here right so how about like can we like put how about just like this one easier put this sentence into a form of this sentence well this is a feature i'm basically like here yeah. and then like you can just like uh and you just put like uh, these two part into into like one sentence and of course this one is like a second part okay can you can you do that I'll give you three sec. How do you put it? Well, this is a topic, right? And then like you find the word upcycling here, and this is like a uh, like a look like a verb kind of word, but like this uh, you know, you know, upcycling is like a thing. So you know, 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 and then like uh, you can put when long sleep close and then like uh, you put the like uh, the verb here it's and then like uh, here you see the great way right and then like a whole way form fat and then like uh, you can just like uh, Use this someone like it's a great way to avoid injuries. Okay, and then like uh, you can put it this way, and then like uh, wearing long sleeve clothes is a great way to avoid injuries. And now you know like how to like write a topic sentence, and then you can just like uh, modify like this kind of. I'll tell you, I'll show you like some more about like some more of like uh, these like how you write this one. Alright, so like uh, this thing like uh, you're supposed to do, uh, like going home, like, so once you go home like at night and then like you just like do some like pro, like a uh, more brainstorming ideas and I like, move on to write your, uh, to write your uh, article like tonight, like okay, so now I show you like how to like use like put this like brainstorm ideas together into making a topic sentence and then I'll show you some other like useful like uh, vocabulary and expressions so like uh, not just that say that like is a great way too like that one the last one and we have also have like some other thing that like can help you to make your writing look cooler and then like here so how about like we just start from the vocabulary building section so you can just like go back to like a uh, page 38 to like 40 and then like uh, and also you can use like uh, this word like below and then like uh, something that like uh, have you to write a feature article? Your cap, after mo, hair, photo mora, high heels, go down high, hands on high, layers, I tongue up, and you know, yo, and sandals, hi, low, massic, go de, get toy, and sunglass of time, and get take off, lady, I take your hair. Okay, like these are some of the words about like clothing accessories, like uh, e, for blood, on my high, let me get pui, pui, sec, la, come in, how lady, these words like can help you, like you write, because like some of the things, remember. Like uh, you teach the student about something that what you're supposed to wear, what you're supposed not to wear, and then like uh, and then remember like what kind of things should we wear, and then we oh, oh high heels we talk about like no, and then like sandals no, and then like uh, and some 
and for the other thing, you can talk about yes, yeah, like a, and then like oh, you should wear like a hat because it avoids sunburn to avoid like a, uh, uh, to block off the sun, like uh, if the sun is like too hot or some uh, something like that, or like, and then like uh, we go on like talk about adjective to describe clothing and accessory, and these one are 形容词。去描述緊誒依你嘅衫啦，同埋佢嘅配色嘅。So let's just look at this word. Like because like uh, we always talk about like, oh, uh, what you should wear. You should wear a cap or hat. But in the recent part, like 喺個喺個解釋原因嗰部分，我哋就應該要去加埋啲形容詞啦，去支持下你講法嘅。Oh, why is like cap is like appropriate like an accessory for uh school picnic. You can say like, oh, they got the hub second. So you need like this one, like not just like, oh, oh, the hat is a good, like a good, like a, uh, uh you should wear a hat like a to a school picnic because it is good for you. No, like this is like too simple. You have to like uh, make your, make your uh, writing a little bit more interesting by adding some more important like adjectives such as like uh, appropriate, uh, like a set up lah. Casual 係輕誒係即係誒輕便唔係輕便誒 casual 即係誒輕鬆嘅 comfortable 舒適啦 fashionable 呢啲啦係啦 fashionable you think that like oh maybe it's not a good idea because like uh, you're not trying to show off like uh, to your schoolmate because it's a school picnic like uh, not like it's, it is a school picnic not a fashion show okay and you're like flexible like why like short sleeves and then, like uh, long sleeve short sleeve and waterproof and these are some of the important things that like can help you and then like a uh, to make your article more interesting and now here phrase to give advice and then like uh, lastly we show you something like about like it's a great way to and then like that's a one way and how about like this one and then like uh, 呢句子可以嘅去俾佢例誒去俾意見啦，去俾建議啦。誒、uh, ，for example， for instance， 呢兩個可以互換嘅，係啦。You can 乜乜啦，然後乜乜 help you。Remember， okay， so when you say like help you， like the verb followed by like help， it is a infinitive 原形，而且原版嗰個字即係唔需要加 ed， 唔需要加 s 嗰個，亦都咧個情況之下咧，亦都係。使加個 to 嘅，要記得呢、这個。好 ，here are some few, few tips that you may find useful。然後咧係一啲嘅誒 tips， 就係咧你又覺得係有用啦。然後咧 here some like the helpful useful tips like similar and protect you from and like these are some of the like、uh, wait how you like because like when you give advice， 你就嚟嚟勸人，你用啲好嘅語言去勸人啦。而而且唔係誒要用呢啲嘅字眼啦，然後你就可以咧 for instance。Uh, you can say that like if you put it like here, you can you can wear sunglasses to the school picnic and then like blah blah blah, and then because like you like you kind of like want to have a nicer tone when you like trying to give advice to people. 你勸人嘅時候，你都會想啲啊啲語氣好聽啲喎，你中意你點講喎，有禮貌啲喎。咁話你應該要著著太戴戴太陽眼鏡，唔會。你中文都會咁講嘅時候，英文更加喺啲寫作嘅更加唔會。Okay， and then like a、uh, we go on like a talk about like some like useful like language pattern here. So we have by the word like a verb here, object and to infinitive. To infinitive 即係我頭先解嘅原形呢個啦，即係我嗰字咩都唔加，唔使 e d， 唔使 s， 乜都唔使原版嗰、那個。好， so if you That's like one of the way that you give like advice here. So, use accessories to make your casual clothes <coughs> more fun. And then like you see that like one here, like use, and then like this is a verb, and accessories like a like a like a 服飾嘅咁樣啦 to make your can 去令到你嘅平誒、uh, 你嘅行你嘅行時街行街嘅衫啦就更加有趣嘅。So like here, the word like、uh, wear here is not wearing, but like like、uh, like the last topic sentence example. But here, like wear as a verb here, wear bright yellow cap and it's an object to catch everybody's attention. And now you think about okay, what happened to the subject? Don't we like don't we always say like as we o like、uh, this is like interesting like a、uh, language pattern like an alternative one, and then like the subject one because why? 
we could come back to like uh, to the reader part. Remember like uh, on page 54 and then we show the like article there and then we talk about the reader. What are you supposed to like put? How we're gonna address the reader? You, right? You should use accessories to make your clothes look more fun. You should wear a bright yellow cap to catch everybody's attention. So that's one like that's an alternative way and then I get to say say like uh, the same thing instead of like you should use like something like that that's wrong and then like they change it to like a verb object and to infinitive. And then like next one. Give example and then like uh, you said for example or remember like uh, what else can we use? I the word begin with I. For instance, change all for example lah. If you say for instance, yeah. Then mean how lah? So I verb object. Then go find the relative clause. Good lah. This time, uh, the relative clause. Can you remember is is how you say? Last time, we had two weeks of school. So, I hear a clip example. You say, like, oh, you put the first thing. For example, add a bell that look interesting. And then, like, a verb here, same thing. Instead of like saying, like, you should add something, you add a bell, make it look interesting. And then you have the object here. And lastly, the relative clause. The relative clause is supposed to support the object. The relative clause is supposed to object. That looks interesting. So, same thing here. Wear a lightweight trainer make you feel more comfortable. Which makes you feel comfortable is a relative clause that is supporting like, uh, this part of the object here. The lightweight trainers. So, now that like, you figure out like how to like uh, <clears throat> write like uh, this interesting language patterns, I expect that like uh, you will use like this language sentence and use like these verbs like uh, to help you to uh, write your article. I'm expecting like uh, you should choose like five words like phrases, five adjectives, and like five phrases like to give advice in your article. Alright, five Okay, proceed. Okay, <clears throat> now like uh, we go to like the last part of a uh, our uh, right uh, article. So now it's like a drop. Like a, uh, now we start to like uh, write your uh, feature article right here. So. Remember, like uh, we talk about the title. This is a title. This is uh, like a heading. And then like uh, your, your title is like a school picnic, make sure you talk about Oh, what do you want to talk about like a uh, school picnic? And like uh, and here is it like make it eye-catching That mean, that mean like you can make your beauty, make your beauty So and then like uh, let's talk about like keep the title short You can make it like keep the title short You can make it like keep the title short And then like here you just like include a heading for each session you just like include a heading for each session because we talk about like it has to include like at least three sessions, right? And then protect yourself. And then we talk about like and and like uh maybe you you can put like a, another heading here, like uh, say something like um dress appropriately. You can go to that uh uh high set up the uh school picnic when we so like uh, should you like wear shorts like a sh like like, uh, like or you wear like something that like uh, is not appropriate or like uh, make some watermark tattoo. I mean, uh, 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 like a temporary tattoo. Uh, 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 so it's like this like uh, if you want to have something that you don't talk about, make sure you put it in the heading part and then like uh, this and then I go back, make sure that like you have the closing and then I like, just uh, remind you like this. Uh, your readers about all your idea 
And lastly, when you like uh, finish by like, writing your draft, and again, I want you to evaluate yourself. 从评估自己喺呢度三个评翻自己分。你有冇用到 the use like you having the highlight the subject of each paragraph？ 有冇用到呢个啊？有冇用到 casual 同 polite 嘅语气去写啊？有冇用 topic sentence 咧去写每一句嘅 paragraph 啦？呢、这個就同我講一個，除非你用 model 啦，如果唔係就應該用翻呢個嘅第一句。Did you use like address your audience directly using you？ 你就要諗翻呢四個啦，就評翻評翻俾自己。咁呢份功課，咁就係今個星期加一百五十字，咁就今個星期星期五去下星期二加啦。咁就呢個一百五十字，咁你要做翻呢、这個。Any questions？ Alright, so that's it for today. So uh, thank you for being with me, and then uh, like uh, have a good day.